Well, progress on my 6502 CPU project is continuing. Um, I've got another three boards now to build up. Um, the first one is right here. It's the memory address register board. Uh, so that one is going to be the one that's where you can set an address. Uh, if you want to stick data into memory, you can set the address through that one. Not sure if I want to build that one up right this second. This one is the register board, so this is pretty fundamental to it. You've got the X, Y, um, A and S registers on this board. Four of the key registers, S is the stack pointer, X and Y are index registers that can increase and decrease, and A, I guess, is the what you'd call the accumulator in any other CPU, the A register. That is pretty interesting. I'd quite like to build that one up. But this one, look at this one, this is the flags board, so this contains... The four, well, there, there are actually there are more than four flags on the 6502, but I, at this moment I'm only implementing four of them. So the carry flag, zero flag, the negative flag, and the mysterious overflow V flag. Um, I think I'd quite like to do this one. Yeah, well, I've just been soldering on these sockets here. So I've got um, uh, a few sockets soldered on. I've spotted a problem already. Unfortunately, when I was putting these connectors on the top bottom left and right I have somehow managed to not quite get that one on the right hand side in the right place so unfortunately these two are supposed to line up and they're not quite so this this connector here and this connector here are supposed to line up and they're not quite lining up on this side yeah this side they line up that's all fine uh, this side they line up yeah but unfortunately I've put them up. anyway I always make slight mistakes on these things it's just it's not going to be the end of the world but it's I just have to take it into account when I try and connect anything together hmm anyway I'll carry on right I've got everything wired up I've got the keyboard here for putting in 8-bit numbers for testing things that goes into the data bus uh, gets published through this buffer when I press the publish button you can see the value that's you can see the value that's published on the data bus on the seven segment seven segment display at the back here um, here's my flags board and over here I've got a bank of switches which I've connected up to various things which I'll look at in a second so the simplest thing that we can do is put some values into these four flags here so we've got over here we've got the negative flag we've got the overflow flag the zero flag and the carry flag now the flags there's only four flags and they're stored kind of in an 8-bit byte and the reason for this is that in a real 6502 there are actually more than four flags but there are some that i haven't implemented i haven't implemented anything to do with interrupts and i haven't implemented anything to do with binary coded decimal because i think binary coded decimal is stupid so I've only implemented four of them, and they look like this. Um, the negative flag and the overflow flag, always called V, are the two highest bits, bits seven and six, and the zero flag and the carry flag are bits one and zero. There are four other bits in the middle, and I've hard-coded them to always be uh, 1101, like that. So um, the value of 1101 is always going to be hard-coded in, that's because one of them is the binary coded decimal flag that I've set to always be zero and I've set the other ones to one. And so if we publish the value that's in the flags, even when no flags are set, you're still going to get a value out. So let's just check, check, take a look at that. So, um, well, let's put a value into the flags. So if we turn, so the four flags correspond to the two left bits on my keyboard and the two right bits on my keyboard. So if we put all four flags on, publish that onto the data bus and store it with key two, uh, we've put all the flags on over here. And if we turn them all off, publish that and store it with key two, we've turned them all off. So we can turn, them up, let's say, just one of them on like that. So that's how the four flags work. So if I turn them all on uh, like that, publish it, uh, sorry, store them in the flags and then publish the contents of the flags. You only see a 247 on the display, not what you'd necessarily expect to get. And that is because the value you're getting is 11110111, 
which is 247. And if we clear the whole lot of them out, so publish that and store that, uh, so that all the flags are clear. If we publish that onto the display, we get 52. So this time we're getting 00110100, which is 52. It's a little bit confusing. To be honest, I wish I'd set those middle flags to zero. But anyway, that's what I've done. So that means that if um, if I want to set set the flags for any values, I can. And if I want to get the values back out of the flags, I can, which is what you'd do if you were pushing the flags onto the stack or pulling the flags off of the stack, which are two of the 6502 commands.